Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Hey there, I'm George Savarikis. Welcome inside our Golf Channel studios for this Golf Central update. Well, there are island vibes this week on the PGA Tour as they start their 2022 calendar on Thursday on the island of Maui for the annual Century Tournament of Champions. Just a jaw-dropping location, boasting an expanded 39-man field, including eight of the world's top 10 players with Xander Shoffley chasing his first major title this year. He spoke with Steve Burkowski. Had a lot of success here and, and have played very well. So, um, you know, first and foremost, it's always a nice thing to be back. So, um, just looking forward to the week. What is it about this place that seemingly fits your eye? I don't know. I think just view for starters. You know, you show up on property and you're kind of at ease. So, um, yeah, everyone's happy to be here and everyone's kind of in a good mood and there's good energy around the property. And I, maybe I just feed off of that. How do you reset during the short downtime, if you will, around the holidays with the new year upon us, but still a continuation of last season? Uh, everyone deals with it differently. Uh, me personally, I just try and take as much time off as possible and sort of relax and kind of get myself back to zero, as I call it, and uh, get myself prepared to compete. Where do you stand in terms of setting goals with the new year upon us? Yeah, I, I didn't. Um, uh, I'm fortunate to be here. Obviously, the Olympics uh, wasn't recognized initially as a, a invite to, into this tournament, so I'm happy that they sort of pushed that through, and um, some players pushed, pushed that through as well for me. So, one, I'm happy to stand here, but, yeah, there's a lot I didn't accomplish last year, and um, those will always carry forward. What do you take away, though, from 2021 and hope to build on, and as you said, maybe get back here with a win? Yeah, uh, so many small things. Um, just trying to check off a lot of small boxes in order to uh, achieve bigger goals. What have you learned on your time on the PGA Tour that you continue to maybe fine tune? Um, it's tricky. Uh, we nitpick and we try to uh, strive for perfection, and um, sometimes you just got to be extra patient uh, in those in those moments. Biggest thing you want to accomplish this year would be a major championship. Another player that Xander's going to see on the range at the Plantation Course, John Rahm, also in Maui. Here's his 2021 at a glance, the U.S. Open victory. The highlight also finished in the top 10, all four majors, plus some players. 14 top 10 finishes on the PGA Tour in 22 starts. What a ratio. Return to world number one passing Dustin Johnson. He also spoke with Burko. You say PGA Tour, we had the Ryder Cup, I did go to Spain. But yeah, the last two months, uh, it was just a stressful period of a year, right? Um, you know, from the time we got out of the quarantine and started playing till Ryder Cup, we basically didn't stop. The month that we had in December, I switched clubs, right? Uh, I started working with Callaway and I trained harder than I'd ever trained in a show this year, right? So uh, after the year I had with all the the ups and downs, uh, a lot of ups, but also certain certain rough moments. I just needed some time off. Um, I needed a break, and to be honest, I needed time to be a 27-year-old and to be a dad. Uh, that's that's it, right? We we hired some help for for the nights when he was born, and because of all the tournaments, I wasn't able to do as much as I would have wanted to. And those two months, I basically told Kelly, you know what? I'm here now. I want to be with my son, and uh, I kind of took over a little bit in that sense. So you know, enjoyed. Weirdly enough, a lot waking up in the middle of the night a couple of times and just, just being a dad, which, you know, surpasses by a lot the best feeling I've had this year in, on the golf course. And, you know, I'm glad I did it. You talk about the ups and downs of 2021. What are some of the positives you take away from last year that you hope to build on here moving forward? <laughs> well, what am I going to say? Uh, when in the U.S. Open, <laughs> playing great golf and having 16 top tens, you know, the way... I handled adversity this year, I think, was something that taught me a lot about myself. Definitely, you know, motivates me, gives me a lot of confidence uh, for the challenges coming forward uh, as a parent and as a golfer. You know, we went through a couple stressful moments and if anything, just positive vibes, knowing that I can, I can, you know, mentally and physically handle adversity and still perform at a high level. Uh, but when it comes to golf, yeah, I think there's, there's some key moments, right? The, the partnership with Serge at the Ryder Cup, that was about as much fun as I can ever have on the golf course and at U.S. Open. So uh, those are some memories I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cherish and, and bring to the to the course and to the battle in 2022. With some downtime, being a, a great father, as you just said, uh, where's the state of your game as you look to kick off things uh, on a good note here in Maui? It's good. It's good. I'm mentally and physically rested, so I'm ready to go. What about this golf course that you've learned through the years that uh, maybe you pick up a little something each and every time you come out here? 
Well, it's all up to the win, right? Uh, it, it's a place where today is about as calm as I've ever seen it. It's always blowing at least 20 miles an hour, and that makes everything a little bit tricky, right? I've been able to play good uh, and finish up there every time I played. Not really having a chance to win, but I've been there, right? I have the second place in a couple top 10. So hopefully uh, I start a little bit better on the greens. Usually the first few days, I don't have my best putting stats, I would say, out here. Uh, but ball striking usually backs me up. So hopefully I can keep that up off the tee and make a few putts and, and see myself with a chance on Sunday. Yeah, I always appreciate the time. All the best this week. Thank you very much. Here's the schedule for later this week. First three rounds of the Century Tournament of Champions coming your way from 6 to 10 Eastern. That goes Thursday through Saturday on Golf Channel. Sunday, coverage shifting over to NBC from 4 to 6. Then back on Golf Channel to crown a winner from 6 to 8. Thanks for watching.